Right now, a Central Ohio school district prepares for a teacher strike. I can tell you that the substitutes will be qualified to stand and teach in those classrooms. Will they be the student, the teachers that we enjoy every day? Absolutely not. The strike notice given in what could be the first local teacher strike in decades. Reynoldsburg teachers could be walking the picket line in 10 days. And as Fox 28's Rob Wells is live, Wells is live to explain, parents are worried how that will affect their kids. Rob? Yolanda, that's absolutely right. Dozens of students and parents marched into the superintendent's office behind us a few hours ago, voicing their concerns over that potential strike. This was the sign that teachers held up a few weeks ago at a meeting, hoping for a new deal, but that never happened. Now that puts some 350 teachers here one step closer to hitting the picket line. Concerned parents, students, and community members wanted to get their chance to speak to the Reynoldsburg School Superintendent about a strike that would affect 7,000 students in the district. So our kids could just go to school and learn. That's all we want them to do is go to school and learn. And this, they put this roadblock in front of us. Sunday, teachers overwhelmingly rejected a three-year contract proposal. Negotiators say the teachers are fighting for higher salaries, smaller class size, and better teaching tools for the district. The board and I remain committed to coming to the table and working with the teachers, talking about their areas of concern. Parents say they worry about the toll the failed contract talks are having not only on students, but educators. My biggest concern is that their teachers are going to be so burned out by this process that they will not be able to continue to give 110% every single day. Outside the superintendent's office. No, we are Raider Strong! The group even took their message to the city council to share their concerns. The strike is not a win. It's not a victory for anybody, particularly our students. And in the meantime, a Michigan company has been hired to actually come in and help set up a strike if that actually gets to that point. Again, as you just saw, some substitute teachers, they are on standby. It would be the first strike in this district since the 1970s. We're live in Reynoldsburg tonight. Rob Wells, Fox 28 News. All right, thank you, Rob. We'll keep an eye on the situation and bring you any breaking updates in the next 10 days. Continuing coverage here on Fox 28 and online at our website, myfox28columbus.com.